What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ike B. Me, man, and I'm thankful. Uh, if you clicked on this video, you are probably a Cowboys fan or a Cowboys hater, or you may just be interested in something dealing with the Cowboys. Well, man, let me tell you, if you want to jump on this boat, man, I'm telling you, it is so difficult being a Dallas Cowboy fan. I mean, it is difficult. And I'm going to go through about six different memories of things that we went through or, or things that we're still going through uh, since the Super Bowl that, you know, it is, it, I mean, it, it's been so tough for us. Being a Cowboy fan means that everybody hates you every, and every <laughs> And I guess loves you, too. But, you know, we deal with everything. We get all kinds of stones thrown at us throughout the week. If the Cowboys lose, better believe everybody and their mom, literally everybody and their mom will be at your front door in your office. People will be talking trash at church. People talk trash. I don't, I don't care if you're going to McDonald's, wherever you are. People judge you, man, and they talk down on you. And if y'all win, if we win, man, it, it's it's like the best thing ever because we get to rub it in everyone's face. You know, everyone has their own words. Oh, this is y'all year, right, right? Uh, or y'all still on boys? And most definitely, we are still on boys. Win, lose, or tie, Dallas Cowboys till I die. But I want to go over, man, at least about five or six memories that are going to probably trigger some of you because you have you have gone through the same pain and the suffering that I've gone through throughout the years. But let's just go over some of these memories just to remind some people of how tough it is and how tough it's been being a Dallas Cowboys fan. OK, let's take it back, man. Let's let, let, let's go back to 2006. How many remember 2006? 2006 was a wonderful year for us. Um, that was the year that we discovered the one and only Tony Romo. Remember the 2006 game against the Seattle Seahawks? You remember, right? Romo takes over. He's now the quarterback, Bill Parcells. And they, they, they finally found out that they have discovered a new quarterback. And of course, Romo is still the holder. He's the holder. Bill Dramatica, he's the kicker. And I believe the game is tied up and we are about to tie it up going to overtime. And all of a sudden, Romo grabs the ball as the holder for the kicker and misses it and fumbles the ball. Now, if you've seen this ball, if you look on, on the tape, this ball looks extra juicy. Like somebody didn't added some extra butter in there, some soul glow, soul glow, something, something in there to where this ball got really, really slippery. Right. And then Romo grabs the ball, picks it up and runs sprinting to the left side. And when he runs, you, you for a second. You think that he's going to make it. And all of a sudden, somebody runs from behind because that shows how slow Romo was. Comes from behind, pulls him down, and it's over with. I mean, that was the most devastating thing. I think before that, we hadn't really done anything in the playoffs or we never really made it to the second round. or It was just a bad situation. And I remember seeing Romo get tackled and was just devastated. And right after that, it seemed like that was like the curse for Romo. Like after that happened, Romo became like this guy of not being able to win in the end and always choking and something always happening to where Romo was involved. And it, it, it like stuck with him his whole entire career. And we suffered from it. <laughs> Man, that was a tough year. Next. Uh, you know, uh, I'll just say that's number six. Let's go to number five. Number five, man, happened here recently, not too long ago, 2021 against the San Francisco 49ers. Do you remember that game? And that game was so tough for us. Uh, uh, you know, it was it was at the end and Dak Prescott ran a QB sneak where it was like seconds left on the clock. And he goes down there and man, first of all, the 49ers came out tough, man. Uh, they came out to some to some. I mean, I forgot the name of that song. I can't think of it right now, but they came out with the big boom box and Trent Williams and, you know, all these guys come out. Debo and these this big ready. They came out ready, man. What's that song now? It's not safe for you. I can't think of the name of the artist, but they came out ready. And here we are, man. Just we, I, I, we got bullied. 
Debo ran all over us and just bullied us. And that game, man, just it was it was devastating to see how we lost and how Dak uh, runs runs the QB sneak. You can hear Romo announcing it, you know, in the background. Like, oh no, they're not going to make it, or or they will. And then he, <laughs> Dak, runs into the referee. The referee grabs the ball, replaces the ball, times up. We lose, devastating, devastating loss. And and you know it it. it it, it still burns, but then right after that, we lose again the next year. I mean, tough four. So that was number five on my list, man. And let me just move on from that one. Okay, number. Um, let's let, let's just go to you know I'm, number three. Number three on my list is your boy Patrick Creighton. Patrick Creighton, right? 2007. Do you remember when we played the Giants in 2007? The Giants went on to win the Super Bowl that year. But that was a particular play when Romo is scrambling. He rose to the left. I think the score, I have it written down, it was 17 to 14. Dallas was winning. It was a minute and 15 left on the clock in the third quarter. We were driving. Man, if if this happens, we pretty much win this game. But Patrick Creighton, I guess he was trying to slant. He was trying to uh, move around and he runs a slant. And Romo Rose left, sees Patrick Creighton wide open. All Patrick Creighton has to do is just catch this ball. He catches this ball. He has so much room to run. I think we, we go. We probably score. Win this game. Game over with. Cowboys going to the Super Bowl that year. Because I, I, I know. So it should have been the Cowboys versus the Patriots. But, man... Woulda, coulda, shoulda. It didn't happen. It was devastating to see Patrick Creighton drop that ball, man. And it hurt till this day. Till this day. Um, let me go to number. I'm, I'm just I'm I'm probably off count here, but it's OK. Number two. I'm gonna go to number two. Number two, 2017. You know where I'm going with, man. 2017 Aaron Rodgers, man, with the sideline pass, man. That had to be the most devastating thing ever because Dak Prescott took over we were finally getting somewhere it seems like you know hey Dak is this rookie man he's taking over he's been doing good all season he took Tony Romo's spot Romo is healthy again he wants his spot back they're, they're probably going out of their practice and let me earn my job back and Romo's mad and here we are in this position with Aaron Rodgers and it is what I think it's third and 20 it's third and 20 the game is tied 31-31 um, you know, and, and we can probably push it into overtime or we can probably, you know, get the punt back, go back, probably score. You know, Dak was doing great. But here we go. Aaron Rodgers scrambling, scrambling. One of the guys got held, I think, on that play. I can't really remember. And Aaron Rodgers throws a sideline pass to the sideline where the receiver tight end. I don't even remember the guy. I can't. I'm still hurting by this. But he twinkle toes on the sideline, catches the ball, and they go on to kick a field goal and beat us again. Again, devastated, man. And I, I just could not believe that this happened to us. I thought we really had an opportunity, man, just to go to the next level and move on. And Aaron Rodgers just destroyed all that for us, man. And, and then I think he actually did it again to us. But, I mean, I'm telling you, it's tough being a Cowboys fan. Those who, who are watching, if you're new to this, man, I'm telling you, it is tough. It is very, very tough. And number one, number one for this. Whew. Man, I, I, it, it, it is, it is, it is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get some sad music. It, it is extremely tough doing this. I mean, I'm not sure if I can get through it. 2014. One of these days, your kids, your kid or someone is going to ask you about the 2014 Dallas Cowboys and you're going to get emotional like I am. And um, it was a difficult time for us. It was it was it was very difficult because we know what happened. Wait a minute. But first, first, uh, let's not forget one incident that happened in that game. And everybody tends to overlook do you remember Demo was running the ball and um, 
um, Peters uh, knocked the ball out of his hand and he fumbled. Do you, do you, no, folks don't really talk about the fumble that happened during the Green Bay game uh, a lot. But there was a fumble that Demo had it and he was running with it and it, it got knocked out. Um, and nobody really talks about that. But if that doesn't happen, because the Cowboys were driving down the field, uh, if that doesn't happen, the Cowboys probably score and we probably blow out Green Bay and we go on to the NFC Championship game. But that didn't happen. But let me go back on my soapbox. Here it is. 2014. Romo looks. Was it fourth down? Looks to the left. Sees number 88. Throws it up in the air. Number 88 sees it. Says, I got this. I've been doing this all season. Goes up. Catches the ball. He's such a good athlete that he catches the ball at the same time. Catches it. And stretches out at the goal line, the one yard line. The referee sees it, who's right there, sees it, says that he's down at the one yard line. Man, I am screaming, I am yelling, I am saying, yes, the curse is finally broken. We are going to go to the NFC Championship game. We're at the one yard line. We've been running like crazy all year. We have the best offensive line. There's no way nothing is going to stop us now. There is no way that's going to happen. Referee comes up and says, it's not a catch. They didn't catch the ball. Dez didn't catch it. And we know doggone well Dez caught that ball. Um, no, let me calm down. We know that Dak Prescott, uh, look at me. I can't even think. I'm saying Dak and I'm supposed to be Dez. Dez Bryant caught this ball and Dez caught it and people have the nerve to say he didn't catch this ball man well later on of course um the referees come out you know after the game and say that Dez caught it but during the game back on my soapbox they said we didn't catch it and we lose and um, all of our hopes and dreams and the Dallas Cowboys for 2014 goes right down the drain because of a referee who looks at it and says that it wasn't a catch. And Romo goes, they, they show a clip of Romo walking over to his parents and hugging them and crying. It, it, it was devastating. If you were a Cowboy fan or if you are one during that time, it was so difficult, man. And this year is special, but um, 2014, difficult year. But anyways, you sure you want to be a Cowboy fan? You sure about that? I don't know, but it's tough being a Cowboy fan. America's team, baby. Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys for life, man. I'm going to keep doing more videos about this, man. I, I, this was a tough one for me to do. Um, but yeah, tune in, man. I have more stuff to, to more topics to bring to you. Click back. See you later. Dallas Cowboys for life. America's team, baby. How about them Cowboys? Yeah.